Dear America, can we still be the land of the free and brave? Whatever happened? All right, thanks for tuning in. Ozzy Audits here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a little walkthrough of um, this little downtown area looking spot. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it looks like it is. So we're going to go ahead and do some shots. Uh, get a get some info of all all the buildings here. You know, somebody's bike. So it doesn't look like people are scared to, you know, leave their stuff. And uh, as you can see here, they got their security camera. A little friendly reminder that they're always recording us, but uh, sometimes people get a little weirded out when we record them. So we get a shot of the whole area here. Um, that little area looks like there's stuff for for businesses, but it doesn't look like you know much um, actions going on there. We got soft tacos right here. <laughs> a bit of what they do here so we get a sign right here Main Street Coins they have uh, their number here and then we sell gold you know from what I heard you gotta you gotta save your gold you know that's the worker there waving hi <laughs> kudos to him and there we go there's uh, another friendly reminder there. So we buy gold, silver, coins. Freeze, ice, Jesus Christ. Get a shot of that. Oh, they're turning too. Awesome. Um, if they stop somewhere close enough, then uh, I'll go ahead and run on over, but... They're probably going somewhere far. Alright, so we got this uh, market here. Probably the, the only thing that really makes it out in these uh, little parts right here is the markets like this because they, you know, they have alcohol and chips and drinks and, and uh, um, you know, cigarettes. You know, these, these little spots are going to stay open for sure. You know, they're going to make money. Oh, look, it opened up over here. <laughs> See what's on the inside. Oh, they have a market here too. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's cool. So they have uh, little piñatas. All the piñatas up there for the kiddos. And then... Yeah, this is a good sized market. Wow. It's here off of 105 E Main Street. Nice. All right, we're just going to post up here for a little bit. Do our First Amendment audit. So they have like these cool pictures here. I often wonder, are these actually their pictures? <laughs> um, it looks super super professionally shot so I don't know if they just grabbed it online somewhere or but if they if they got their own professional photographer to, to do their thing hey how's it going hey oh just recording oh uh, I'm working right now so not to disclose too much because uh, the story's not published yet just so it doesn't ruin the integrity of the story I don't like and like Devolves the information until it's posted. But if you look it up on YouTube, it'll pop up in the, like the next two or three days. Just type in uh, San Santo, like walk by or something like that. But yeah, I don't disclose too much at the time because of of what I do as for work. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm recording. Why? Why? Oh, well, when I'm working, I don't like disclose too much, just so it doesn't ruin the integrity of the story. So basically, um, 
Oh, actually, I don't need any permission from anybody because I'm on a public sidewalk and when you cannot trespass the eyes. Yeah, but I'm not in your store. I'm outside of it. You get what I'm saying? All right, guys, we got our first, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you filming? Um, the point of the audit is to uh, not disclose what I'm doing. You know, I could easily say it, but uh, it, they need to talk to me a little longer. And um, as long as they show that they're not, like, too worried about it, then, yeah, I'll disclose it. I don't care. Aussie audits. Check me out. <laughs> you too. <laughs> But um, as of now, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick around and uh, you know see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this part right here. Look at this old pay phones. When do you see these? When do you ever see these? <laughs> and then uh, we got somebody trying to promote the. They're, rent, they're renting their little um, um, trailer thing, apartments. We got somebody bump, busting some music. Got more people here. Get a shot of the whole area here. Get more of this market stuff right here. <laughs> it looks like the guy is locking the door. <laughs> he straight up locked it. Look, here, I'm gonna go buy it and it won't open up. Watch. Boom, it doesn't open. <laughs> it's supposed to be a door that opens up automatically, but they locked it. <laughs> uh, see what the camera does, guys? Well, I don't have a weapon, it's just a camera. <laughs> but they went ahead and locked it. So now if a customer comes in, they'll have to see, oh, it's a person that's not me. And then they'll open it up for them. <laughs> oh, there you go, guys. They're scared. <laughs> All right, they're scared here at a Fiesta Market. Oh, no, a guy with a camera. Oh, I could say the same for them. He got a camera on me. Why are you filming me? <laughs> it's called Equal Rights, everybody. Of uh, the Fiesta Market. Uh, it looks like a night. Oh, look. Customers trying to go in. They can't go in. Oh, I don't know. I think they're closed or something, guys. They're closed. I don't know. I, I think they're scared of a camera. They came out and they got scared of a camera for some reason, like it's a weapon or something. <laughs> I think they got told to go around. <laughs> Let's see. No? <laughs> oh my god. Sorry guys, can't make this shit up. Camera's not gonna do nothing to you guys. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Uh, I don't wanna go down that way yet. Let's just continue this way for a little bit. I think they got told to go around and there's like a back entrance, but uh, let's just continue the tour, guys. All right, we're getting another shot of the fire truck here. There we go. I wanted to stay posted here because uh, maybe they called the cops or something, you know. Oh, hey, we got a thumbs up. <laughs> so we got some good, nice people here. But we're here to record the fire department. Um, fire departments are public um, uh, uh, places we could go. And, um, but, you know... More the audits are mostly for um, 
mostly for um, police departments and stuff like that. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey. Oh, it's, it's going to go on YouTube. I can't disclose too much because okay. uh, of my job. It's the, the point is to get candid type of shit. Yeah. And I don't have to tell anybody what I do. Yeah. Right. And then, like, this place right here, they just locked their doors because oh, they really? didn't. Yeah. Like, they told that some people came. And they couldn't go in, and they're like, you guys closed? And they're like, I think they told them to go around. I don't know if there's an opening. Like, I don't live here, you know what I mean? Yeah. I came to just do a story. And they came out, I didn't disclose shit, and they're like, they went and closed the doors People and locked weird, it and man. shit. They're weird, like, some weird shit. And I'm yeah. like, I'm like, dude, I'm not here with a weapon. Yeah. I'm here with like, a camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a, like, a nice like, one, too. Thanks, dog, yeah. yeah. But nowadays, bro, people just... Weird yeah, shit, they just get all weirded yeah. out. Just because I don't tell them what I'm doing. Dude, I... I'm not gonna go in there and do some crazy shit, oh, no. bro. Like, <laughs> and you have it on camera too. So like, yeah, fine, like okay. why would I? I'm keep the granite though. For yeah, real, yeah. So you guys stay up. Have a good one, guys. Liquor store here. Look at this. This is a good shot for a picture right here. Go ahead and do that. Stay tuned for some photography, guys. So if it if it turns funny on here, uh, on the live, obviously it's because I'm doing photography. This motive got me feeling no proud. Like a lame wine at party, this is the hardest like more proud. I'm trying to get lit to a hit like this is gal, gal, gal. If you feel this things, then it must be you like shower, shower, shower. Cause I know it's more than hot. This motive So let's get a better shot here. We got the little open sign here. And then the opening here. All right, so we got the Modelo's. We got all the drinks. Okay, if you guys are ever interested in alcohol here, get yourself some little shots. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I definitely can, bro. <laughs> Here you go, your next one. So, even though it's like um, this little parking lot here, it could be private, but I don't see any signs. It might be an easement, it might be not. Um, so, I, I, as of now, he hasn't told me to leave, but I can stay posted at least right here on the sidewalk. Telling me I can't record, so we're gonna go ahead and post, post right here, and uh, get some shots. This is uh, liquor auto doesn't have any uh, definitive, definitive type of uh, um, name to it, but uh, um, it's just, it's just in my. It, yeah, there's like it's a little parking lot, so there's no there's no nothing that says no trespassing, um, and stuff like that. No, like across the street, it's like this building's all like boarded up, and it looks like a a, a nice enough building to do like um, like business offices and stuff like that, and 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 it's basically um, a little thing like that. It's, there you go, create some privacy. <laughs> and to lock the door. <laughs> oh my god, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> but yeah, you want privacy? You're a little scared? I mean, locking the door is a little excessive if you ask me. Uh, it makes me, if, if it were to like just close the blinds or whatever, I'd be like, okay, you created privacy, you know, I'll be on my way, but. I'm gonna stick around a little longer, see uh, if there's any people that are coming and they're like, it's locked. And uh, <laughs> so we're gonna stick around and wait for that. I think he's calling the Popo, guys. If I get it on, uh, <laughs> if I get it on, uh, if I get it on the live, then I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. But he, he definitely went up to the door and he has his, his phone in his ear, dude. <laughs> I think he's calling the cops. Oh, man, doggy. You're going to call people with guns?
for a camera, my dude? The first thing he, he did was he was, he, was, he was shaking his hand like this, like, no, no, no. No, no, no. So I'm like, maybe he's gonna see me. No, no, no. Don't call the cops. No, no, no. Don't call the cops. Don't do it. Don't, <laughs> like Casey Camera Boy would say. No, no, don't do it. Don't you, don't you, don't, don't you, don't. <laughs> I was gonna walk across the street too until I noticed he was on his, on the phone. I don't know, maybe he's not calling the cops. Maybe he's calling uh, his mom. Like, mom. There's a guy in the front, and uh, he has a camera out, and he won't go away. I told him not to not to do it, but you don't realize. You tell me not to do it, then I'ma stay. I'ma stand up for my right to record in public, my guy. And also, if I didn't see you on the phone, I would have been across the street where there's more action. It looks like they opened up their doors again. They figured I left. Little did they know, I'm over here with uh, Little Miss Call the Cops. And uh, now I'm gonna have to wait. Maybe the cops are gonna show up. Maybe they'll educate him over the phone. Um, but now I have to stick around and see. You're gonna make me wait here, my dude. I'm not gonna run away from the cops. I think that's what it is. But there you have it, guys. First Amendment audits. Making people scared. What you scared for? It's a camera, my dude. It's nothing... Nothing scary. Well, people say it's gonna steal your soul and, and shit like that. Like, dude, chill out. I haven't had no cambacks. So, that's another thing right there. No cambacks. There you go. There's my guy right there. There's my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just opening the doors. Oh, man, this uh, my rig. Keep trying to fix it, but there you go. You open this door again. So I think the cops kind of let them know. I mean, why else would you open your door? You open your door. You're back open for business. You you heard what you what what they said. So nothing they could do about it. So. There you go, there you have it guys. You're gonna go back to the to the other spot. Um because they opened up already again and they're gonna go ahead and lock it. Oh there you go. The 5-0 my guys. The 5-0. Wah, wah, wah. Hi, did somebody get their feelings hurt? <laughs> so this is my first time in town and I figure I'd do uh, a little walkthrough and uh, when I get b-roll shots I just stay put right and when I went here I didn't see any uh, private property uh, signs around this little parking lot here and so I went near the door and like maybe uh, 10 seconds or something while he was um, talking to uh, a patron in there he, go, he goes up and goes, no, 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 no. And so I just go, hi. He didn't like my hello. He said, oh, you can't do that. He gets closer he, uh, towards just the, 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 the part where he works at. You know, they have like a little whole row. So he's still on that side. And he's telling me, no, I can't do it. And I'm like, yes, I can. And then just because I wasn't sure about the whole parking lot area and if he could trespass me through there, I went ahead and just posted at the, the sidewalk. Okay. So after, yeah, after that, he, he, he locked the door and stuff like that. And I was just like, well, if he's going to lock the door, he's probably going to call the cops. Yeah. And so I'm not going to go running around making it look like I'm running. Yeah. You know, I also saw him on the phone and I was just like, oh, there you go. And there you go. He's, he's calling the cops. So that's kind of what I figured. Cause once he locked the door, I was like, oh, he's worried about a camera. Yeah, so, yeah. so. I mean, that's some basically are in it. Particular, it makes their business, um, mm -hmm. and that's what they want. That's what they want. Um, yeah, yeah, but if you're on the sidewalk, you're fine. Okay. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go and talk to them. Are you from around here? No, this is the first time. Um, well, I used to live in uh, Hemet, so I would drive by here all the time for work. And uh, so what I did was I came. My main focus was to go to the city hall, and then okay. yeah, so I've been there and I went to the library there too. They're very professional. Uh, 
They didn't tell me to stop recording. Yeah, so they were really good. They had a uh, public uh, request forms ready printed out for the for the public, and that's basically what I'm here for. But I figured before I go, I came I came all the way out here, make a tour around this little uh, downtown looking area, and then I'll be on my way. So that's basically yeah, that's, it. That's fine. I just like I'd be careful with businesses. Like just if you go in somewhere. Just oh yeah, I don't I don't go in unless they like invite yeah. me in. And, and, I, and I've been around a, a few cities, and sometimes they'll be like, come on in. And only when I get invited, yeah. then I come in. I don't record the, the people eating and stuff like that. Yeah. I just kind of promote their business, and I, I just head out. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll just go have a chat with him. You're, you're not, like, on probation or nothing, right? You're not, you're oh, no, 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 no. You mind if I just run you really quick to make sure you're good? Oh, no. Just, if I haven't committed a crime, I'm not going to give up that ID, that ID cookie. You know what I mean? Okay. Not even, like, your name? Uh, Ozzy, you could go by uh, Ozzy. I just go by Ozzy. You know, I do YouTube, so if you type in Ozzy, okay. maybe San Jacinto, you could find me. I don't, uh, I don't try to hide myself, but if I haven't committed a crime, yeah, I'm not going to give you it. No, no, but no, if you look, if you look online in the next four days, you can find me like that. Yeah. You know what no, I mean? No, that's why I'm just asking. It's just, it's just the point of the, the, the video is to, to not give up my, like, my civil rights, my rights. So, yeah, that's fine. but people could find me like that. It's, okay. uh, I'm, no, I'm kind of an open book. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I know how okay, it is. I'm gonna go ahead and go and talk to them, and um, yeah, just go ahead and do your thing, but just uh, be careful with businesses. And if they no, it sounds good. You know what? Uh, this business right here was a little worried. They went and did the same thing, locked up. But I mean, people see cameras and they get worried. Right? Yeah, right, I'm just gonna so. go by there real quick and then just go back. You know, I don't want you being called out multiple times. You know what I mean? You already came out here. Maybe uh, next time somebody else does something like that, you you could just you know let them know what I'm. There's nothing nefarious. Yeah. No ill will. It's just me doing my job. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, you're good. Okay. Right, awesome. Good. All right. He's getting educated, guys. Real quick, officer, you have a case number to this uh, call? Uh, yeah. Can I get the information to that? That way I could uh, get a public information about his call, see if he made any lies up or false or police report. Huh? You want me to tell you the number? Yeah, you could just say it, it's fine. I-32278. I-3278. 0114. And can I get your uh, name and badge number? Alberti 6252. Awesome. Thank you for being professional. No Have a good one. All right. There you go, guys. Police were called. Somebody was educated. And that's why we're out here to educate. Um, I don't need to disclose what I'm doing, but uh, sure enough, you know, people are educated the hard way. So, guys. And uh, police get called out, and we're here to teach, not to not to scare anybody. But uh, there you go, We've got the officer taking off. Uh, number one four zero fifteen. All right, license plate number one four two three two six six. All right, there you go, guys. So I think we we did what we came out here to do, is to record the police. And uh, see if uh, they, they are knowledgeable and know about our First Amendment rights to record in public um, at, a, at a public standpoint, like um, government buildings, anything that's funded by the government is a public space. If they don't have any like uh, signs that say uh, otherwise that you can't go past this point, then we can go there. Uh, if you're on a sidewalk, right? Or uh, maybe this is a public easement because it doesn't say uh, any any penal code about it being private property. 
then you go you go ahead and uh, it's basically you know you cannot trespass the eyes just because I have my camera you know what I mean uh, people want to come up and ask questions I have the right to not tell you those questions so we, we, we definitely just stayed put the guy was so scared of a camera that he called the cops um, and that's what it is guys you know we're, we're here to educate he's not gonna do that again to a camera guy he's gonna go ahead and just uh, you know um, you'll know for next time and look right there he has his door open and everything now he's it is what it is now he's gonna see a camera not tell him to not record and maybe next time when somebody records them they're not gonna care they're just gonna record them for a few seconds and just walk on by so we got there you go are you gonna go oh no she's gonna make a left okay so got some people here uh, that's an awesome Great Dane. Yeah. Look at that Great Dane. Yeah. What I learned about Great Danes is uh, they they don't live as long as uh, other dogs. So that uh, filming the police. Good. We have the right to film the cops, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the camera makes uh, people's true colors come out. You know what I mean? And you get to see if uh, their tyrannical behavior. Yeah. Kinds of show the light show and it's a freaking uh, cops. I went to school with a lot of here. And, and uh, they have an authority problem. They, oh wow, know, they really? Take, they take they, they take an oath to be a peace officer. There you go. They're, you're They're here for the public, they right? They take an oath to be a thug. Yeah. You they know, they they, they let that badge go to their head. Not a deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's not good. Or high water, you know, whatever it costs, you know. Uh, I can tell you stories about the, the interest. I, I would love it, bro. With my brother, had Channel 7 do a story. Of wow. But, uh, in the moments, I mean, I've been here. Oh, sorry to hear, man. But you grew up in this city, so well, you know what, what they're like. Oh, it's great, then. Oh. This show is here. I actually know. We're going to just cross the street, go back to that little area. Uh, so yeah, just want to cross right here. We're going to end the audit soon. So we learned a lot of its history. We uh, got the cops called on us. We met a cop that was professional. Oh, no, I don't. I haven't smoked in a while. Sorry about that. So... We're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the Fiesta Market, do our closing <laughs> right in front of their their spot, and that'll be it, man. Um, we got a good video, so um, I already forgot her name. I'm not good with names uh, with my ADHD here, but we got it recorded. I just want to say. Kudos to her. She did a, 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 a fantastic job. Um, she informed him and, and, and did what she had to do. So we're going to go ahead and do our last, our last shots here. Alright, so there you have it, guys. We did a whole uh, walk around town. Got the cops called on us. Uh, the San Jacinto police did a fantastic job. They get a pass. We got a yes, the market. They get a fail, and then the Five Corners liquor. They also get a fail. So uh, it, it was cool. We got to meet uh, one of the locals. Gave us a, a bit about of their history. And that was really cool. I always like to learn about history. Um, I'm not a big old history buff, but I know my fair share of history, and I love history. So um, if you guys uh, watched it for this long, thank you. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace out, guys. Ozzy on it out. Uh, we got a cool little spot. It's open. Betty's hair. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. <laughs> they were nice. They waved high. Oh yeah. Uh, I went I went across the whole downtown doing a story of uh, all the businesses in here. You know, I don't go inside because I have a camera. Okay. The only way I could uh, promote the business is if I was invited inside. 
But it looks like you guys are Betty's Hair Salon, Betty's right? Salon. Here. here. Uh -huh. Yeah, here over here in San Jacinto, right? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for promoting your business. All right, have a good one. All right, there you go, guys. Asiata, it's out here. If you're scared of a camera, then don't bring attention to yourself to the person holding the camera. You know, I'm just gonna record for a little bit and then I keep going. But if you're gonna take the time to come and be nosy, <laughs> then the tripod sticks come, well, they're not tripods, it's a monopod. But the monopod sticks come out and I stay put. Cause if you have an issue with me recording, what if you're gonna call the cops like that guy over there at the fifth and corner liquor store? Sure enough, he got educated. And we out here, guys. Ozzy audits. Like, share, subscribe. Share it to the people. Like e Eli uh, TV saying, we out here. I think he says that, but I've been watching a lot of his videos lately. But yeah, just heading out to the car.